Good morning. It is Friday. My name is Liz and I had fresh baked bread for breakfast this morning. You try saying that quickly. Fresh baked bread for breakfast. Fresh bread. Anyway, I've made my point. Right. Earlier on in this week, I agreed with a friend of mine that today we were going to do the Black History Walk, the Camberwell Society Black History Walk. And whilst my brain had registered that today was Friday, it hadn't properly registered. So when I got a WhatsApp message from my friend this morning saying, right, so what's the plan for today? My immediate reaction was, oh, for <clears throat> it's Friday. I had completely not put two and two together. Most people wake up and say, oh, for <clears throat> it's Friday. But not me. It was, oh, <clears throat> it's Friday. Um, we are meeting in about two hours time so the next thing to do is have a shower and then I would like to try and get some yarn skeined because I want to try and knit myself a sock blank and since there will be a train journey there and a train journey back that seems perfect knitting time but I need to get the yarn prepped beforehand um so yeah Friday Yes, the table is wobbly. I do not have time to crank this yarn slowly. So I'm afraid it's just gonna have to be wobbly. Oh, fiddlesticks. Not just at the end. It's a perfect figure of eight knot, but still not what I wanted. I'm gonna hold on, there you go. That's the figure of eight knot. There was a figure of eight plus something else. And we're done. my friend. I think she might be on the train that's just arrived. I'm not 100% sure. The weather has dropped. It was decently warm when I left the flat. It's now a bit windy and cold, but we'll see what happens. It's fine. It's Friday. <laughs> Yeah, this one is Una Mason. Who was a poet, playwright, campaigner for equality, first black woman program maker. <laughs> You want to find some way to go and maybe have a cup of tea yes <laughs> but we're kind of stuck in the middle of a residential area and i don't think there's any cafes or anywhere near here
to get windy. Why wouldn't it be? It's autumn. Um, we, my friend is staring at me with a very bemused expression on her face, which of course has thrown me off completely. And now this car is marvellous. We've started the um, history tour. It rained, it got very, very wet. We took shelter in a pub called the Campbellwell Arms, which we would not recommend for various reasons, which I'll probably talk about later. Um, and now we're back on the trail. We're doing things in a slightly odd order from the way they're written down, but we are going to make sure we see everything by the time we've finished. Onwards. graveyard or the area behind uh, the church, St Giles's church. And as we were walking here there was a group of young lads who wanted to see, um, yeah, wanted to know if either of one of us had a lighter, which we don't because neither of us smoke. Let's be fair, they were quite young to smoke themselves, but whatever. Only they didn't want to smoke. imagining it but that looks almost looks like the estate where John Boyega grew up reflected in the theatre building where he trained That's cool. which I think is a nice end to the day yeah. in editing this together I realized that I've not been able to do justice to all of the people mentioned in the walk I've put a link below to the Camberwell Society who have put the walk together and links for the majority of the people mentioned so you can find out more about their lives. That was a good walk. Definitely recommended. There were three sites, I think, on the walk which were... This building is in the on the same site as such and such used to be, which I found a bit of a shame. Um, I did say to my friend that I didn't actually want to keep looking at, at places that used to be important but have now been knocked down and built over. Um, but she pointed out quite rightly that if you have no history, no black history whatsoever, that everything's been written from a, a Caucasian and empirical, um, empirical, imperious, from the point of view of the empire then having a Black History walk as a starting point is better than nothing. The one thing I really loved about the walk was there were examples given of Black people in the UK prior to the Windrush. Um, but yes, there were a couple of places there relating to Black people who had lived in the UK well before the Windrush which was 1947, 1948, we looked it up. I thought it was 1957, I was nine years out, so that would make it 1948. There were several stops that we went to where we, there was information, not missing from the information we were given, but we read the information that we were given, which then led to questions, which led to me looking stuff up on the internet and then that led to even more questions. 
So I think there is definitely room for expansion. Definitely worth doing. Has definitely taught me things. Has definitely given me things that I want to go and look up. I think that's about all I can say, really. Apart from the fact I'm knackered, I'm going to go to bed. <laughs>